Hello, Christina, you're on the air. Yes, hi, Dr. Wallach. Um, actually, hi. Christina is my daughter, and I spoke with you two months ago regarding my issues, and I really thank you. Thank you very much. It helped me a lot, and now I'm calling for my daughter, and she's okay. here. One moment, please. Her name is Christina. Here. Hello, Dr. Wallach. This is Christina. Okay, and how old are you? Uh, I am 20, I, 26 years old. Okay, and how much do you weigh? I weigh 161. Okay, how tall are you? 5'6". Okay, how can we help you today? Um, doctor, I've had two C-sections, and um, with two months ago, um, during my menstrual cycle, I felt this, like, a lump around my C-section area. Um, I went to the hospital, I went to urgent care, and then... Um, uh, I went to ultrasound. They thought it was a hernia. However, mm -hmm. I have this, like, strong feeling where it's not hernia because I have very heavy menstrual cycle, and it would hurt so much. So then they scheduled me for an MRI, and they found out that I have endometriosis and a dermoid cyst. And so... Um, okay, is a dermoid doctor, cyst in your ovaries or in your uterus? Um, the dermoid cyst is in my ovary, and it's, like, about five centimeters. Mm-hmm. And then the okay. endometriosis is like three centimeters. Okay. And so the endometriosis is uh, the cause of that little lump in your surgical sites? Yeah, that's what, uh, yeah, okay. that's what they think. They said okay. that's what they suspect. Okay. Did they tell you what a dermoid cyst is? Um, yeah. The, they said it's like a sac-like where there's teeth and hair inside the... Yeah, it's a, it's a twin. Uh, it's your twin. And um, so when you were a uh, flat disc and this other baby was a flat disc, you went into a tube first, and you engulfed and essentially swallowed your twin, and so your twin grew up uh, is like it's two inches in diameter, five centimeters, okay? And there's it's very common to have teeth and an eyeball and hair and all kinds of stuff in there, bits and pieces of that twin, okay? And it's a benign thing, never becomes cancerous, and it's usually not the source of pain. The endometriosis would be this, the source of pain. So... Um, uh, Charmaine, are you there? I'm here. Okay. So endometriosis, of course, is the lining of the uterus, um, which gets up into the belly cavity. And here probably was a little hernia there because um, unless the doctors, when they did the cesarean section, left a little piece of the lining of the uterus in the skin. So that's another possibility of how you got endometriosis there in your skin and your belly. But there's two possibilities. Christina. All right, uh, Charmaine? Yes. Okay, we need to deal with this because every time Christina goes through a cycle, um, the uh, estrogen she produces will stimulate those cells, the lining of the uterus cells, which are apparently in the skin here, and they swell up and, and cause um, discomfort. So there's a couple of feminine health products that, that we have. And um, what would you uh, what would you give her for those in addition to the 90 essential nutrients? I would give her a product called Woman's FX. Okay. And I would give yeah, her a and... product called Zerotus. Excellent. Now, at 161 pounds, how much of the Woman's FX liquid would you give her? I give her two ounces a day. Perfect. You get an A plus there. Yep, one ounce of breakfast, one ounce of dinner. That's two quarts a month. And how many of the tablets of the Xerofem? Um, how many come in a thing? Sixty. Sixty. Yep. So then she needs four a day then. Yeah, four a day, two at breakfast, two at dinner time. There'd be two bottles a month, and um, this is going to be a lifetime deal. Okay, and of course uh, that'll make uh, going through menopause simpler, and. Um, so give us a call every couple of weeks and let us know how things are going. But what you need to do with your little dermoid cyst, give it a name. Uh, give it a sort of generic name because you don't know if it's a male or female without doing a, um, a genetic test on it. I would just give it a name and talk to it once in a while, and it will be a best friend to you.